In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is um, continuing my setup of Windows 11 and I'm going to show you how to tweak Windows 11 or optimize Windows 11 with a fantastic little program called WinEra Tweaker. So um, to get started, if you don't have it installed just as of yet and you haven't used the program just yet, what you can do is simply just type in WinEra Tweaker and then go to download WinEra Tweaker. Let's click on that. And then it's over here. Click here to download file. But um, look, I'll put a link to this uh, website in the description of the video. So you can just click on the link. And then second of all, just before we get started, go to laptop tweaking tips. In fact, if you're watching on a computer, in the, in the left hand or right hand corner over here, there'll be a little button. Just go ahead and subscribe. Just do it be good for you anyways so one error tweaker once you've downloaded it and you've extracted it to your desktop and just go ahead and install it normally install it to the C drive um, to program files x86 so just go ahead and open it run as administrator a very awesome little program this right so now that you've opened up the program First thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Windows 11, classic full context menu. So now, if you just installed Windows, you'll notice that the context menu is a little bit different and it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. If you want the old Windows 10 style context menu, you have to go to show more options and then only you have the normal context menu that you had in Windows 10. So what you do is, first option under Windows 11, classic full context menu, just go ahead and enable classic full context menus boom and then obviously if i restart now like the video is going to crash so i'll just click on i'll do myself later and then disable background apps freaking awesome so yesterday i did a video on how to optimize windows 11 with windows privacy dashboard and that disabled a whole bunch of telemetry in windows 11 so this just goes ahead and disable all the background apps it just makes your life so much easier gonna get a little bit of extra performance less latency and your whole windows 11 experience will just be a lot better so just go on disable background apps and then you click over here and that's it right so then we're gonna go further down and then under behavior ads and unwanted apps don't want any ads so just go ahead and click on all these options here disable error shake okay it's disable already disable error snap uh, disable app look up install i don't use microsoft store if you do don't really have to do this i just like disabling it i don't like windows or uh, microsoft store right uh, furthermore Disable automatic maintenance is when you restart your uh, PC. Might, might uh, speed up the restart process by a fraction of a second. Just do it in any way. Uh, I hate smart screen, so I disable these. Uh, hibernation options, I like to disable hibernation. And then menu show delay. It's normally set to 400 milliseconds by uh, default. So now that's, let me just show you an example. So if you open up this tab over here, it takes 400 milliseconds for this thing to load or open up. So now when you set menu show delay to zero, it doesn't really per improve performance, but it just makes things look a lot snappier on Windows 11 or on Windows 10, whatever. I'll do myself later. Power throttling, disable power throttling. I'll do myself later. Split threshold, this is very cool. So just simply set above RAM and then I'll do myself later. But I mean, obviously I'm selecting I'll do myself later because if you had to research computer every time, this, this whole process is gonna be a lot more laborious. So just click on what I'm clicking on and then just say I'll do myself later. Once you've finished with one error tweaker, then restart your computer. And then all the changes that you've applied will apply in Windows 11. So just to show you what um, a split threshold is. So let's open up Task Manager. 
So now, if you go down... So it's all these server size. There's normally about 45 of these options. So now by setting split threshold for service host above the amount of RAM, it's going to renew, uh, reduce all these little service host packets to less than about 20 or 15. It just uh, helps your RAM management, and it just um, yeah, you're going to see a significant drop in your in your memory usage. Very very cool. Disable blur on sound uh, disable blur on sound and screen. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so now when you log into Windows 11, you notice there's a blur. I don't know why they do it. I think it looks shit. Let's just go ahead and disable it. And then we have wallpaper quality. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but it's set to 85% by default. Just go ahead and drag that to 100 context menu so now for later when we're setting up windows 11 there's a very important little feature here that i, I like to se select and i'll show you what it is so i like to normally what you do for command prompt you click the windows button in r and then you type in cmd to run command prompt as administrator but if you select this to put it into the context menu there we go what happens is, there we go, you're going to have the option to literally just uh, uh, use the context menu, click on this and it opens up command prompt. <laughs> it just makes things a lot quicker. And then, yeah, run with priority, add run with priority to context menu. So if you got a game, normally games run on a normal uh, CPU scheduler priority level. But now if you click on this, so now when you play your game, you can just right click on it and then you can run in high priority. It's not going to give me major FPS increases in games, but uh, for games that are very CPU heavy, might just smooth out your gameplay and maybe net you one or two extra frames. And then this is very important here, take ownership. Just add take ownership to the context menu. And I'll show you in a, in a later updated video. I think that's important. All right, now we're getting to the very cool part. So, under File Explorer, customize the PC folders. So now let me just show you quickly. It's so you see this is quite a mess. This is like a, a stuff load of options. This just makes everything look a lot more cluttered. So. Customize this PC folders. I like to keep desktop. I like to keep documents and I like to keep downloads and Then uh, I don't really access videos pictures and music so much So I just select that select that select that and then remove selected remove selected Remove selected now you'll see it just makes this over here look a lot cleaner as you can see, desktop documents and downloads, all the other entries have been removed. And then by default, as you can see, uh, when you open up the file explorer, it starts off on quick access. I like to set it to this PC. It just makes things a lot more convenient. So I'll just select uh, this PC. And now you'll see it'll open up under this PC automatically and then I just close quick access so as you can see uh, there we go this is not a mess anymore looks a lot cleaner very convenient I like to disable USC that's when you open up a program and then it gives you a, a prompt in a window that says are you sure you want to open up this program I disable that it's quite annoying We've already disabled telemetry. Very cool over here, shortcuts. So now if you create a shortcut on your desktop, it's gonna give you the file name and then a little colon and say shortcut. I like to disable shortcut text. So I just go to there. And then also if you got a shortcut on your desktop, it'll give you the little thumbnail, 
but there will be a little error in the left hand corner so I like to click on shortcut error and put no error so now we're disabling the shortcut text and we're removing the shortcut error just makes your thumbnails look a lot cleaner alright guys that brings us to the end of today's video um, if you did enjoy it please make sure to smash that like button if you haven't subscribed just yet please go ahead and subscribe my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and it needs to happen make it but anyways guys yeah i do apologize i'm making today's video with me great so if it was a little bit laborious i do apologize um other than that guys it's people like you have a good day cheers